Hey guys, this is Martin again from Bug Bounty Service. And today I'm going to show you a stored XSS vulnerability as part of a file upload vulnerability. Um, file uploads, you're probably familiar with it. A lot of web portals and web applications use them. It's for verification purposes. Like if you apply for a new bank account, you may be asked to upload your driver license or you know, your passport or any proof of accident or pictures or whatnot. So it's quite common and there is a lot of vulnerabilities to be found in that kind of functionality. And today we will be taking a look at one of them. So again, let's get started. We are here in our health application portal. Um, there is a feature called upload proof of vaccination. Okay, so a lot of companies required that recently. And you can just go in here and say like, martin at martin.com. For example, this is like my email address and then proof of vaccination. So I have a JPEG picture here, which I'm going to upload. Okay, and then I hit the upload button and see what's gonna happen. So it's checking the vaccination proof and it has been uploaded successfully. Okay, no special deal here. Um, just an ordinary JPEG file. We can go back to Burp and take a look at this request, send it to repeater. And this was effectively our request. We call an endpoint here, vaccination manager pub, submit vaccination proof PHP. And then down here, you actually see the content. So that was the email we entered and the file, is, file name is proof.jpg. And it's, a, it's in a JPEG, so the MIME type is set to JPEG. And here is the actual uh, image content. So um, there are vulnerabilities or there can be vulnerabilities in all kinds of features here. Like you may be able to upload an unexpected file extension. So PHP code, HTML, SVG, um, and then you can embed a payload, for example, cross-site scripting payload in there or something like that. Um, some some applications check for the extension and there's bypasses for that and others take uh, check for the MIME type and then there's bypasses for that or for the magic number, which signifies that it's actually a JPEG and, and stuff like that. <clears throat> so the vulnerability I'm going to show you today is not part of any of those, but what I just mentioned, the vulnerability is different. So say this is a penetration test right and in a penetration test we have access to the receiving end as well which we normally do not as bug bounty hunters so if we go over here there is um the vaccination management portal where a doctors or an authorized pair person has has access to this we are going to refresh and this is what i just uploaded so basically um you see the user was martin at martin.com timestamp uh, the proof so i can click on this you can actually see this was my, my proof, which I uploaded, IP address and user agent. So what I instantly see is two things here. First of all, I can control the, the variable um, user. So I, I can put in my own uh, email address, right? So this could be potentially vulnerable for cross-site scripting um, or the user agent, right? Like, so the user agent is shown like with which browser I used and that's controllable by an attacker as well. So what I'm going to do now is I take a basic cross-site scripting payload like this one. It's an SVG onload just to fire an alert. Actually, just let's, let's do an alert which says XSS, something like that, right? And copy that. And now what I'm going to do is I go back to Burp and then in Burp, I call this Martin one, right? So I had to have a distinguisher here and I change the user agent. So because the user agent is reflected on the vaccination portal. So I simply put that in, okay? Then I upload it and then I can render this and see if it was taken. Yeah, it was uploaded perfectly well. So it didn't complain that I modified the, the user agent or something. And now if you go back to the vaccination portal and refresh that, you see, I instantly get my cross-site scripting, my XSS pop-up. Um, that is because the user agent is reflected directly back to the victim. In this case, the vaccination management staff. And if I look at this call in Burp, you can see this here. So if I search here for XSS, um, it was this one here, the second one, XSS. And then you, you can see here my payload, which is, which is basically my user agent, is reflected back to the user, okay? So it's not 
uh, there's no output encoding, there is no input sanitization, it's just reflected back as I put it in. And this is what's causing this cross-site scripting vulnerability in this case. So always take into account not just the actual functionality, but also play with the headers. Because if anything is reflected back and you say it's, you see it's reflected at some point, always check for cross-site scripting vulnerabilities. Okay, I hope this makes sense and you have learned something and I see you in one of the next videos. Thanks.